I have found that the media's portrayal of things is very one-sided. I have attended a number of protest events, including some of the big ones in Wellington, uh, along with my family, and uh, the media continues to under-report how many people are turning up to these things. They continue to call us anti-vaxxers when a lot of us are a mix of people. We are not just concerned about vaccination, we are concerned about what's happening in our country as a whole, that people are being denied medical care, that they are being denied access to public facilities which taxpayers pay for. Yeah, there's just freedom after freedom being stripped away and even things like you could bring in the farming sector, the Three Waters Bill, where you had something like 80% of councils against that and the government's like, we're going to do it anyway. Like, they are not listening to the people anymore. They're just doing whatever the heck they want. And the media seems to be only reporting that side. And of course, if you follow the money and look at how much uh, Jacinda has willingly given out to all of our mainstream media, uh, it, it does beg the question, like, are they sort of just on her payroll and they're basically say what they're allowed to say. If they say something against the narrative, they get shut down. Um, yeah, we only need to look at, you can look at Talkback Radio, any of the guys, um, Peter Williams, Sean Plunkett, anyone that's questioned it, who's not even like anti, they're just asking questions like media is supposed to do, they're shut down, they're resigned or fired, and it's happening time after time after time. Yeah, so yeah, I. I'm finding media reporting really biased to one side, so it's very concerning.